Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. Alright, this is a follow-up to one of my biggest videos or one of my most popular videos. It's the Battle of the Red Dots. Um, this is kind of a part two. Where am I now with Red Dots and which ones do I like? You know, did I get rid of any? You know, that kind of thing. It's really a kind of a follow-up, not going to be as long. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you all and just kind of give you my opinions on it. Um, here we go. All right, you know, I've got the Delta Point Pros. I've got eight or nine Hollow Sun 507Cs, the original ones, you know, not the newer ones that are going to be coming out. And then I've got the Trijicon SROs. Um, you know, that's kind of where we are here. Uh, but I'll kind of give you where I am now and my likes and dislikes, which ones I got rid of and or did I get you know the one I got rid of and we'll go from there so here's where I am you know and I'm just gonna show you some examples like I just pulled some out here's the 507 or excuse me the uh, FN 509 uh, but it does have a 507C hollow sun on it I'll see if you can see the dot there you go and it actually is the circle on this one the circle without the dot if you can see it in the camera and I'm really liking the circle without the dot just for kind of like self-defense uh, shooting and of course you can change it to the dot the 2 MOA dot for more precise shooting if you're going for super accuracy but um, there's that one right there and then uh, you know here's the Delta Point Pro and this one is on the Shadow 2 Custom uh, done for fire for effect it's got the bushing on it which is just like the Shadow 2 uh, orange and it's got that's tricked out it's got all the Cajun Works kits in it um, everything's got the new lock if you're interested in these is the new lock heavy brass uh, grid lock these things are super heavy uh, and they will bring it up to your carry optic weight that's available now which is 59 ounces or bring it you know give you more weight um, but these things are awesome and super super grippy but um, Delta Point Pro we've got to talk about um, and I'll show you on that. Then, of course, here's the SRO. This is the CZ TSO that's been customized with the ramp or the uh, gas pedal, the optics plate. It's got the SRO on it. And these are the two point, I think they're the 2.5s. Let's see if I can get you to see the dot. It might not show up on here. Actually, I think this one's, yeah, this one's turned way down. Let me crank it up here for you. All right, there we go. See if you can see that now. There you go, there's that bright dot. So here's kind of where I'm going with this. Uh, real quick, I'll show you this one. You know, I've got the SRO on the Shadow 2. This is a custom one done by Fire for Effect. Let me turn the dot up on it so the camera will pick it up. Because when you're shooting for accuracy or whatever, you don't have to turn the dot way up. So there's that dot. Uh, here is a custom STI uh, with the Hollow Sun. This was done by uh, Vulcan Machine Works, and you can see I've got the circle on it. I've been shooting it. Um, you know, my opinion on these, the Hollow Sun, for the money, for what you're getting, and I understand they're made in China. I don't like that. However, you know, this is what we've got. I do try to support American companies all the time, but I, with these Hollow Suns, I've been beating the crap out of these things. I've shot tons and tons of rounds through all these guns with the hollow suns i've been testing them for quite a while and i really really like them do i like them better than the trijicon rmr i've been asked that many times well as you'll see on the table i do not have any more trijicon rmrs and why is that i got rid of mine why is that because i actually like the window and the visibility i don't know if it's the shape or what it is but I like the window size on the Hollow Sun 507's C's better. Now these are the original ones again. They're not the brand new ones that the new models that they have coming out like the 508 or whatever. Uh, it's not that one. But I like it because you can change between the three reticles. You can have the dot, the dot with the circle, or just the plain circle. So there's that. You can change it from manual to automatic. Uh, and you can of course adjust the intensity. And these things do get pretty damn bright. Um, I haven't really had any washout uh, like I have on some other optics and we'll talk about the other washed out optic right now. The other washed out optic is the Delta Point Pro. If you can see it, and I'm going to try to turn up the intensity on this one, 
just so you can see it because I want people to see what I'm talking about. I might have had it all the way up. That's the thing about this. It doesn't get bright enough for me. That's my personal opinion. Uh, I've got this light right above me, but that is like really bright in the window, but it's not very bright there. And I don't even think that might be the highest intensity. Let me see. I want to check because I don't want to speak out of turn. Yep, actually that was the brightest intensity. So I will go back up to the brightest. Give me one second. Uh, gosh, I, yeah, there you go. So I think that is the brightest intensity. And you can see, and I'll turn this light off real quick. There it is. I mean, it's not super bright. Also watch this. When I get right there, see how the see how it goes away? On the bottom quarter of this Delta Point Pro, it's actually dead. So the whole bottom of the Delta Pro, I'll go to the side here so you can see it better. Let me tilt it down. Your dot goes away. See right there? And we're not even all the way through the window. I could still tilt it up like that. The whole bottom of this Delta Point Pro is dead. See right there? I'll keep it in the red. See how it goes away? That's bullcrap. I need to send this thing in and have it serviced. So that's one thing I don't like about the Delta Point Pros. Plus, in, this, in the direct sunlight, when you're shooting, they do wash out on me. Even on the brightest intensity, they, they dim and go away. Um, I just don't know if the durability or the quality is there. Uh, I've actually had friends who have had to send some in two and three times. So this one's going to be going in. I do have another Delta Point Pro. I haven't had any problems with it yet, but the same thing. It still washes out. Um, not, not a big fan. So let me show you on this one. This is the SRO. Okay, there's that. Now you can already tell, I don't even think this is the brightest. You could already tell that this is already brighter than the Delta Point Pro. Let me go up. I'll hit the up button and we'll see if it gets any brighter. So you look at that sucker glow. So it blows the Delta Point Pro out of the water already with its light intensity. And that is max, inten that's max you know, intensity. And I mean, that thing glows like the sun. So I don't lose it in the sun. I can hold it up in the direct sunlight and still see it. You know, you can get a little bit of like sun blistering or whatever it's called. But as far as the dot, I, I don't lose it. It's super, super bright. The Delta Point Pro, show you that again. Look at that. Let me see if I can go up one more on the Delta Point Pro just to make sure I'm not speaking out of turn. Yeah, I think that's it. So that intensity versus this intensity. Look at it. There it is with a great comparison right there. I'll try to hold them side by side. I'm just, I've got to hold them at an angle so you can catch it in the camera. Look at that. Big, big, big difference. Now a lot of people say, oh, this window size is really good on the Delta Point Pro. It is, you know, it's it's good for the width. For your up and down, it's okay. But look at this one. When this one bounces, see, you can get it here, all the way to the bottom, and then all the way to the top. You can still see it, and then it goes away, right there. This one, now these are all my opinions. Yours may vary. I'm not trying to tell people what to buy. Well, it's dead at the very bottom, but then we'll go to the top. There it is. And these are basically the same size dots, but when you turn up the intensity, you can actually turn up, it, turn, it kind of makes it blister or even bigger, if that makes sense, because this is the 2.5 dot. So there's that. So as far as I'm concerned, to wrap up part two, it's the Hollow Sun 507C or even the new one. You know, if I haven't tested that one, I've been testing the shit out of these Hollow Suns. Um, it's the Hollow Sun 507C for me, or the SRO. Um, those are the two that I really, really enjoy. Delta Point Pro again, not so much. I'm not hating on them. If people like them and theirs are working great, more power to you. I'm just giving my opinion. So I appreciate y'all. If y'all want to check out part one, um, you know, where I kind of show those, uh, I'll just kind of call this like Battle of the Dots part two. And, you know, my verdict or whatever you want to say. And uh, here's where I am with it now. So am I a professional dot shooter? No, but I've shot them in competition. I carry one every single day. And I have carried the SRO, 
I've got it on a CZP10F uh, also. So I've got three SROs, I've got eight or nine Holosun 507Cs, and I've got two Delta Point Pros. Uh, so, and I don't have any RMRs anymore uh, because I think the 507 for the money is super, super hard to beat. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. If you have any more questions, please leave them below. I'd love to hear your input. And I'm not hating on RMRs. I like them. It's just when I pull the gun up, you know, for firing, I tend to catch the dot in this one, in the 507, better than I do the RMR. Now, it could just be me. And I know they can say, train with it, train with it, train with it. This one gives a little bit of extra, I guess, forgiveness. And then also you have the three reticle choices that you do not on the RMR. So I can shoot the circle, the full big circle, the circle with the dot, or the small two, uh, you know, two MOA dot. So it's just choices. And I love choices. So I appreciate y'all so much. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation. So we all got to carry on.